Hey everyone, in this video we will be taking a look at the movie, 2067. The movie is about the world being destroyed and what follows after that. The year is 2067 and almost every person has died due to there being very little oxygen. This is because all the plants have been scorched by fire and now people have to pay for artificial oxygen. Also, 99% of the world has gone dark and people are still dying all the time. There is only one city in Australia that has survived and this is because of a company that has been producing artificial air. Although this is good, artificial air causes a deadly disease that kills people after only a few years, and humankind only has years left until it goes extinct. Ethan lives in the Australian city, and he works with his friend at the company that produces the air. The company is also trying to find a cure for the sickness, because if they don't, humankind will go extinct. Ethan has a wife and she has the sickness that is killing her, along with many other people. Ethan is always trying to find a way to make more money and buy cleaner oxygen for her. Ethan and his friend, Jude, are working when they are called in by Regina, who is their boss. Regina says that if they don't find a cure, all humankind will die. She also says that Ethan can save the world, but he is confused. Regina takes Ethan to their lab where we see some futuristic technology. We also see that Ethan has a device on his wrist that he tries to hide. Regina and another doctor tell Ethan that his father started this decades ago. They then show him the machine and what it does. They say they sent radio waves into the machine and found out that the earth has restored its vegetation in 400 years. This is a great discovery because they believe that if humankind can survive for 400 hundred years, they will be able to breathe natural oxygen again. Regina then tells Ethan the real reason he is there. She says that when they decoded the radio waves that were sent back, it said to send Ethan into the portal. This means that something in the future had survived and Ethan doesn't believe it. Ethan's friend, Jude, wants him to go into the future, but Ethan refuses because he doesn't want to leave his sick wife. We learn that Ethan doesn't want to be like his father because his father left his mother, resulting in her being killed. Because of this, Jude raised Ethan as a friend and a father figure. Eventually, Jude is able to persuade Ethan to go into the future because, in the long run, it will help his wife. We see that when Ethan was young, his dad bought him a gift for his birthday. The gift was the strange device on his wrist and Ethan still doesn't know its purpose. When he arrives home, his wife also wants him to go into the future. The next day, Ethan is in the lab preparing to go into the portal to the future and Mitchell shows Ethan the suit he will be wearing. Ethan is confused because they don't have a plan for Ethan and they don't know what he will see in the future. The doctor suits Ethan up and gives him a device that will keep track of his vitals. They start the machine and Ethan falls through galaxies and planets, but he does get to Earth. His suit catches fire so he takes it off and he breathes the fresh air. He is so happy that Earth's vegetation is back and he can breathe clean air. He makes his way through the jungle and comes across a metal door and a skeleton that has a bullet hole. He looks closer and sees that the skeleton has his name on it and he is horrified. He also finds a device that has a recording on it. The recording is of a man saying, this is the only way, and then it ends. Ethan also finds a device on the skeleton's wrist, but it's a green light instead of the red light he has. That night, Ethan is by a campfire and decides to eat berries, but it turns out these were poisonous. He starts to vomit and shake uncontrollably, but later he is shocked to see Jude right next to him. This is because the lab saw that his vitals were dropping, so they sent Jude into the future with the cure to the poison. Jude and Ethan check on his skeleton but see it is still there. 
They make their way to a rusty door and are let in when a device scans Ethan's eye. A computer then greets Ethan and asks him for a blood sample. The wrist device Ethan has makes him bleed and then the light turns green. They realize they are in the same lab, 407 years later. Jude is happy because this portal means they can go back into the past, but Ethan doesn't want to. A hologram of Ethan's father shows up and he explains to them that the portal was made to bring the oxygen back into the past. They then realize that they won't be able to go back to the past because the portal's battery is almost dead. Then, there is a malfunction with the portal. The portal will set off a nuclear bomb in only four hours, so Ethan and Jude have to find a way to survive. While outside, they see the same city is covered with plants and broken down buildings. They also see skeletons everywhere and are horrified that this may be the end for them. Then, Ethan finds his wife's skeleton and Jude tries to persuade him to go back to the past. Ethan plays the recording and realizes that Jude was the one that shot him in the head. Because the bomb is about to detonate, they are able to quickly fix the portal that allows them to go back to the past. Ethan still sees his skeleton and knows that his fate has not changed, so he changes the batteries in the device and sees another video of Jude holding him at gunpoint. Jude then tells him there is no hope in finding a cure for the sickness. Ethan doesn't believe this, so he locks Jude in a closet and takes a closer look at the hologram of his father. He finds out that Regina was the one that killed his father because she wanted to keep the portal to herself. Regina also hired Jude to kill Ethan's mother, so they can use his blood to access the portal. Ethan is furious at Jude because he looked up to Jude and he was the one that killed his mother and him. Ethan tries to stop the portal but Jude holds him at gunpoint. Jude is unable to kill Ethan so he decides to shoot himself instead. With very little time left, Ethan tries to find a cure to the sickness, just like his father. He sees that the message was originally sent by himself, so he decides to send it again into the past. Regina and others are about to enter the portal and live in the future but are stopped. This is because Ethan was able to send plants and videos of Regina's murder into the past. Ethan then destroys the portal and prevents Regina from executing her plan. Regina is arrested and the plants Ethan sent back are now being used to restore Earth. Ethan also forgives Jude and buries him. Ethan is distracted by a butterfly so he follows it to the lab and notices his skeleton is now gone. He lives in the futuristic world without his wife, but he also saved humankind. This is how the movie ends. Let me know if you like this content and don't forget to like the video.